Hey, this is Ron. Ron's Wood Turner. Welcome back. I'm at my new shop and I brought a lathe. <laughs> also, got some pen kits, some pen blanks, and some Lazy Susan kits so I can make those uh, round things. Anyway, it's good to be here and I finally got a lathe here. The only problem is, is that uh, I got to build a bench. Because my old bench was 28 inches and then you put this on the top of it, it made a perfect angle for my, for my elbow and my tools. And everything I got in here is higher than that, so I got to build a bench. But y'all stick with me, we're going we're gonna to do a project. And I don't know what it is yet, but we're going to do one. So just stick with me. Well, I got a few things done and I sure made a terrible mess. It's uh, <laughs> epoxy stuff. You gotta make a mess. So, I was refinishing my brother in law's chair. The dog scratched it all up. So, I got it all looking good. My table's still holding up. Let me move this coat. It, uh, it's looking, it's holding up. It hadn't changed, so it's good. And then I started a river project. I put the first layered down had some leaks right here in this corner so I had to patch that so I wasted a little bit of epoxy not a lot but now it's all sealed up so today I'm gonna finish pouring the river and I gotta go home tomorrow so when I come back in a month it ought to be nice and cured <laughs> but yep small lathe Today I'm going to build a bench for it. It's got, I, I like it, 28 inches high and then set it on top of the bench. And then that way it fits me perfect. Everything else in here in the shop is too tall. So I'm going to go get some wood from the neighbor. Put together a little bench for it and do some turning. And uh, the bar is still looking good. Uh, cut that part out. <laughs> Yeah, might be a little pig action today. We'll see. So, it's nice and dark outside still. I don't know how well the camera will work. But I rigged me up a temporary porch light. And it's just getting daylight here at the ranch. Uh, you ain't going to be able to see it. I'll shoot it later in the day. Man, you talk about warm up a shop fast. Five minutes, it's 70 in here. I use a uh, cost less. My mini split, I got it set on 65. And it's supposed to be sunny today, so if I warm the shop up before daylight, uh, that mini split won't even kick on hardly, and I can turn the propane off. So, I'm learning my shop. It, uh, it's going to be a great day. We'll get busy later. Alright, so I got my epoxy heated up and I haven't mixed it yet, but I got some 220 and I'm roughing up the surface on the wood part. I'm not going to mess with the lake part. And uh, we'll pour. That just make it smooth and the epoxy will stick. got it mixed up it's uh, this is two to one and this is super cast so you can pour this stuff two inches thick 
and uh, it'll cure up. But I'm going to pour about a quarter inch at a time and pop the bubbles and then keep going until I get it full. So that's all mixed up, part A and part B. And then I took some of this uh, metallic powder and a little bitty spoon. And I put just a little bit in there because I don't want it opaque. I want it see-through so it will show the swirls that I did on the first pour. So let me get started mixing. And you don't mix this with the drill, you mix it with a stick for about six or seven minutes. So y'all don't want to see that. Alright, it's seven minutes mixed up and uh, it's not completely opaque. You can see it's still a little see-through on the stick, but it's got little blue speckles in it. So that's what I want. So I'm going to pour it. On. Nice and easy. And if I didn't make enough, I'll make another batch. I had some leaks, but I turned this thing upside down and fixed them all. And it looks like I might have to make another batch. But I might just make the last one clear. Yeah. And it's not leaking now, so I'm good. So I'll mix up one more batch and get my torch. sit a little while and while I'm making up another batch go ahead and fill the bad boy up cool all right got another batch mixed up this ought to fill it up Looks like it's full. Yes, it does. And that's all I can do to it because this stuff, I might have to leave tomorrow and I'll check it in the morning, but it's going to take a full 24 hours for this to dry. So I just got to make sure the bugs don't get on it. I'll come in here every now and then and look at it. But it's perfect, it's up to the edge. Because the top coat I'm going to put on there is good for a one-eighth of an inch. And that will fill all the voids and I'll put just perfectly clear on the top. So let me hit it with a torch. <clears throat> Get y'all a better look. There we go. Alright, it's just gotta dry. 
And I got some wood sticking up over here because apparently that board is kind of warped, so I'll have to plane that down. And it's a high spot. No problem. I can handle it. We just got to plane it after it's dry, probably next month. We'll check it out. First lathe in the shop. Be a while before I bring the other one, though. I got to have something to do when I'm at my house. So, more projects to come. I had to got my lathe set up and I went ahead and made a little pin for my neighbor. And uh, it is nothing fancy because I left all my mandrels at the other shop, but I improvised. And I made a, my own mandrel <laughs> out of wood. So, quick and easy little slimline pin kit. And projects still coming. All right, this is the, the last pour. This has been sitting here about 12 hours. It's tacky, so it's perfect. And I'm going to, this is just clear. There's nothing in this but clear. So I'm going to cover the whole thing and then let it dry for a month. Because <laughs> I ain't taking it home with me. When I come back, I'll demold it and fix it. Sand it all down, polish it up, and it'll be just right. It's good when you're not in a hurry. And you can't really get in a hurry with this stuff anyway. So, let me finish mixing. Alright, let's fill it up. We'll start on this end. And I'm going to cover wood and everything. I have to spread this out. Not a problem. Get my trowel. All right, let's do it. Beautiful. Just enough. And then I'll put it the regular. This is casting resin, so when I come back, I'll put the regular resin on it. And then that way it will be finished. Well, it won't be finished. I gotta take it out of the mold and then bevel the edges and do the pyramid thingies under it and all that. So, let me torch it out. Because I can see bubbles. So I got a little hole right here, but I can feel that before I put the last coat on it. And I got one little bubble spot right here. So I'm going to torch that a couple times. And then I can fix that before I put the final coat on it too. So all in all, I got 
two little spots to take care of. The rest of it's fine. And, uh, <laughs> looking good. And it's going to be a month, though. So, I'll show it to you when I get done. Right, so, my back deck is almost done. They still got a pour some concrete all the way over to the shop to walk on. The front deck is done. Still got to pour concrete on it too. Of course the sun's going to get in the way. But uh, yeah, it's looking nice. They did the top nice. I like it. And uh, so anyway, I'm going to have a pad in front of there, and it's going to go all the way over to the shop. There's my back gate. This morning I had five deer out there feeding. Just lollygagging around. That was cool. And uh, here's the other side of the back deck. My favorite spot is Flagstone Patio with my fire pit. Me and the brother-in-law went out in the woods and gathered up a whole bunch of wood, so I'm going to light that off here in a little while. And uh, tip a few. <laughs> well, anyway, it's looking better. It ain't there yet. But it's getting there. Well, I made it back. I uh, always hate coming back. But Anyway, I got a few things done, and uh, I'm going back again next month. And I should have a project here in my small shop sometime in the next week or so. We'll figure something out. But uh, I'm glad y'all stuck with me. Thanks for subscribing, and y'all have a great day.